The girl who faked her life online has responded to me and it's absolutely dreadful. She's also gone on a complete rampage and started replying to YouTube comments and has even once again started doxing people. And finally, YouTube has actually responded by reinstating the videos that she originally falsely struck down. So be sure to watch this entire video because it's about to get serious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. Oh my days, what on earth am I going to say today about these two cowards? I mean, she's only gone on to once again half dox me on Twitter and for the first time in history ladies and gentlemen she has decided to publicly respond to me and I'm absolutely terrified she has summoned an entire army against me an army of of 10 bots I mean looks like Christmas has come early you got me Lily Gina mother you got me. Now, if you don't know who Lily Jean is, she was originally a makeup artist who really, really wanted to be famous. And, you know, she's successfully done so. She's just famous for all the wrong reasons. She's actually now famous for faking her life on the internet and harassing people. And after all that, she still claims she's the victim. Now, I have actually previously released several videos on her, which at this point could be called a mini Netflix series. But if you do want a backstory, check those out. But if not, I'll give like a quick little recap. So she originally had a million followers on Instagram and still until this day, she still has a million followers. But after going through her statistics of her Instagram, it seems that some of the followers didn't quite line up. Almost like 80% of them were just bots. In August of 2018, you gained over 142,000 followers. But the next month, you you only seem to gain 7,000. She took it a step further by photoshopping herself on the cover of Teen Vogue, which, you know, I'm not really sure why you do that, considering Teen Vogue had stopped printing magazines at that point. And to prove to everybody just how famous she is, she photoshopped herself in the Met Gala. Again, not really sure why she'd do that. Although there is a chance that her mother gaslit her into believing that she was actually there. Look guys, I'm on the moon. I'm actually here. It's real. And the question on all of our minds is, is what the hell happened to Fipe? Fipe was her boyfriend that she started dating when she was 14 and, and he was 23. But you know what, right? I just found a clip of Lily Jean talking about Fipe from four years ago and what she says is absolutely insane. But I do like to speculate that perhaps Lily Jean made up Fipe to try and give off the vibe that she's some sort of a sugar baby that's dating a sugar daddy or some crap like that. You know, just to try and get some extra money on the side from older men. I mean, she was posting pictures of her feet after all. For heaven's sake, don't be like this woman. But if you guys are trying to make some extra money through a side hustle, then you should check out the sponsor of today's video, Free Cash. Free Cash is a platform where any of you lovely people from Earth can sign up for free and make some money by completing various tasks. And these tasks could involve playing mobile games or answering surveys or testing new apps and many more things just like that. And to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why me and Jerry over here love this platform is because you're actually able to make more money using free cash compared to their competitors and sometimes twice as fast. This month the loan users have already cashed out a total of £5,680,384 combined. Wow! That's actually pretty sick. But Curtis, with all the scams out there, how could we possibly trust this? That's a very good question, Jerry. Take it from me, ladies and gentlemen, and the thousands of reviews that can be found on Trustpilot. They've had some really amazing reviews on you. Wish I found this sooner. Yep. And that's exactly what you'll be saying. <laughs> I mean, look at that, 4.5 stars. Clearly, it's a platform that's loved by many, so why don't you grab the bull by the horns and get involved? Come on! Yeah, but Curtis, how do we even get started on this website? Great question again. So when you initially click on the link in the description, you'll be brought to the sign-up page. So be sure to sign up, and once you've done so, you will start in light mode. And light mode will include selected special offers. But not to worry, once you make $20 with free cash, you'll then be able to gain access to all offers and tasks on their platform. And believe it or not, it even tells you what tasks tasks you need to complete within that game in order to get paid. I mean, there is just several offers and tasks to choose from. All I see is opportunity. But what I also love about free cash, ladies and gentlemen, is their cash out options. They offer so many ways to cash out your earnings, whether it be through PayPal, or perhaps you fancy an Amazon gift card, for example. There are many, many ways to cash out your earnings. So what are you waiting for, ladies and gentlemen? Click the link in the description or scan the QR code right here and receive a $5 bonus on your first offer and start making money today. Thank you for free cash for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into the reckoning of Lily Jean. <laughs> get this, hold the phone, get this. Lily claims that a 23-year-old man preying on a 14-year-old girl is not illegal as long as someone doesn't report it. Um, no. Illegal is when you report it and um, it's not consent. If your parents agree to it, it's fine. Um, it's not, it's illegal to date a minor, yes. 
if you report it. It makes me really sad because what on earth happened to my guy Fipe? I bet he wasn't even real. But you know, after covering that situation, it should have stopped there. We all had a bloody good old jolly good laugh at her faking her life online, but she wasn't happy about it because two years later, <laughs> She responded by trying to strike my videos down. And the reason they tried to claim copyright was for using a picture of her face in my thumbnail. So I responded in the most Curtis Price way possible. I printed out a picture of her face and wore it as a mask. <laughs> because apparently Lily Jean's face is copyrighted. So hopefully this doesn't annoy you too much, but uh... Hi guys, it's me, Lily Jean. But regardless of her failing to strike me every time because I am the ultimate superior being, she did unfortunately successfully strike down other creators' videos such as Cleo's, Kalimara's, and Tatiana's. And there's way more creators than that. They're just the ones off the top of my head. And I posted videos trying to defend each creator. And when I defended Cleo, it really kicked off after that. She responded in probably the worst way you could ever respond to somebody. She responded to me by doxing my entire family on Facebook. <laughs> I mean, what a coward. I mean, is there anything... Is, is that really the best trick you've got? Really? Price has a loving family. That includes mom. Less my mother's name. Who works at... The place that she works at. Dad says my dad's name. Brilliant. And then proceeds to say that he owns this company. And this next bit is just amazing. As well as a lovely girlfriend. Lists my girlfriend's Instagram. And then proceeds to say his girlfriend who one day might say I do to him. Yes! Yes! Come on everybody, get yourself to the shops. You're coming to my wedding, baby. <laughs> Idiot. She also filed police reports against me and Cleo, which I have yet to hear from these officers, so clearly they're very angry with me. Oh, officers, I've been harassed for several years with false copyright takedown requests. I also had my entire family doxxed on Facebook, but arrest me, officers, please. I've been the victim of terrible anti-Semitic hate. It started when I was a teenager and has just increased over the years. Being a woman, it is even harder. Specifically, the hate coming from Curtis Price has incited such violence towards me. I can't go outside without security. <laughs> I can't go outside without security. Oh, get off your high horse, will you? You're not an A-list celebrity. Nobody cares about you guys, all right? The offensive material can be seen, linked to my YouTube video. It is not the only video Mr. Price has done towards me. In fact, the level of threat I feel from this man when I am a Jewish woman. Only five foot is immense. He has terrorized me for so many years. I mean, they love playing the victim, don't they? This is their, this is their main thing, is just playing the victim the whole time. When you're literally trying to take people's channels down for simply making a video calling your daughter out on her actions. I mean, what is going through your mind? I don't know. And now you decided to turn into a screenplay. So good luck with that. I'm sure it's going to be sh and all that really is just the bare minimum. There is so much more information that I just can't cover right now because we've heard it before. Like most of you have probably heard this before. But if you haven't, then just go and watch it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I find absolutely hilarious about Lily Jean is that she claims she's the victim, which I don't know what universe she's living in, but- So I'm just curious, Lily Jean and mother, you absolute fucking buffoons. If you really are victims, did, did I dox you? Is that why you doxed me and my family? Because I, I doxed you first? Did I file a police report against you? Which I very much could do, by the way, because you broke the law. Did you dox me for a second time because you're the victim? Is that why you did that? Or did you dox me because you couldn't take down my videos and because you can't accept the fact that you've lost? Just comment down below, ladies and gentlemen. Does, uh, does this sound like a victim to you? The only reason I make videos on Lily Jean is in response to something she's done either to me or my friends on YouTube. I I haven't mentioned your name in about two months at all. It was over for me. But you, you are last night coming on YouTube writing a bloody essay about me, half doxing my family on Twitter, and doxing Cleo. I mean, are you two really that delusional? Or are you just fing stupid? I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think Lily Jean and her mother realize that they've made all this possible. The only reason we've got to this point is because of you. She even struck down an article off Google that was made about her. In a turn of events that isn't the least bit surprising, but still shocking, our Lily Jean story has been removed from Google. Google search because of a DMCA copyright strike. So if you could share this article and give it some love, that would really help. I mean, you lot just have massive balls, don't you? You're like a bad smell that won't go away. But regardless of her efforts to strike people and silence people, YouTube has actually responded by reinstating videos that she had originally struck down. I bet that pissed you off, didn't it? Does it feel bad to lose over and over again? I mean, I do feel sorry for you at this point. <laughs> I mean, you're just not gonna win, especially when we don't fear you at all. I used to be afraid of you, and that was only for one reason. 
Ooh, what's that? What's that? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Oh my god. But since you got those fixed, I fear you just as much as I fear that plasterboard wall over there. Ooh. But getting to the current events, ladies and gentlemen, she released Hell on Earth last night when she doxed me and Cleo on. I imagine there was probably some other stuff that went on as well. And that's the bit that I find bizarre every time, is that how can you claim you're a victim when you're always on the offense? <laughs> Now, when she originally doxxed me, it was actually her mother that done it on her Facebook account. And she doxxed my family, where they work and stuff like that, and their Facebook accounts. And she also claimed that I was a part of this neo-Nazi organization, which, uh, I, I don't think I am, at least. I, I, I'm not aware of But anyway, that. the current doxxing, the reason why I called it a half doxxing is because they didn't give any context to who they were doxxing. They just posted a link of where they work. They posted a link to this website and put recommend. Five stars. Oh, that's nice of them, man. Thank you for promoting that company to your 27 robots. Oh, look at that. She also docks where my mum works as well. And once again, how can you claim that I'm harassing you and stalking you when you're doxxing my family members? I haven't spoken about you in about two months. And here you are, look, piping up again like some sort of drama queen. And as we know, of course, Cleo's video was indeed reinstated after Lily Jean had struck it down. And I believe that's the reason why she resorted in doxing Cleo this time. Which I just like to underline, the only thing Cleo has done to this woman is release a video on her. One video. And this was her response. That says a lot now, doesn't it? But she initially doxed Cleo on Twitter by doxing her real name. Now, nobody knows her real name. I do, because I'm one of the uh, the lucky chosen few. But it wasn't very wise, Lily Gina, mother, to dox Cleo, considering she's probably the least person that has done anything to you in this situation. Even the tinsiest amount of foundation that you built claiming that you were a victim, you just annihilated it. You are people with low morals, no accountability, no shame whatsoever. You live in a victimized mindset 24-7 for your entire lives, and quite frankly, have less common sense than a f***ing rock. Oh, dox me, Lily Gina, mother, because I'm always so afraid when you do it. I don't give a crap. Rap, all right, but what I do care about is you dragging Cleo into this and doxing her real name What did she ever do to you exactly other than releasing one video? What did she do to you? She did nothing. What did I do to you? I released 11 videos 11 brilliant videos and I can take accountability for that Maybe I pushed it a little bit too far, but did I ever dox you? Did I ever stalk you and your family? Did I ever file false police reports against you? No, I didn't f***ing think so. And if you aren't aware, Lily Jean has recently started a project called Project Bullish, where she talks about her experiences as being a victim. Lily Jean files more police reports against stalkers. Oh, look, and there's Cleo's name. Lovely. Sorry, in what sense did... Almost doxed her myself then. But in what timeline did Cleo ever stalk you? Sorry, d did I miss something? I mean, at this point, you can't even call Lily Jean and her mother a functioning member of society. Jerry's got more IQ than them. Oh, yeah, she is responding to comments. Look, for the first time ever, you are a lunatic. You are fake. Oh, well, that's rich, isn't it? <laughs> the audacity when you faked your entire life on the internet. You and your mother are totally insane. Blame yourself and your mother instead of everybody else. Very, very true. I actually cannot believe how you and your mother can cannot see how we've possibly come to this point because of your actions. Another man telling a woman she isn't valid. Go figure. I have police documentation on this and I've been stalked, threatened, and stand by my claims and thoughts. Links Project Bullyish. Oh, honestly, I couldn't say it more bluntly if I tried. I couldn't give less of a f about Project Bullyish. We should be calling it Project Shittyish. I haven't watched your crappy documentary and I don't plan on either because it'd be the biggest waste of time of my life. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I logged onto your website because every time I do log onto it, I remind myself how much of a silly cow you are. And of course, the very wonderful Cleo came to my aid and defended me in the Legion's comment section, which which, by the way, at this point, I wasn't even aware that you'd started back up again. That's how distant I've been from this. I wasn't aware that you've come back and started doing these things. If you hadn't, I wouldn't have spoken about you. You effing docs Curtis's family. How are you even the victim? I have an IC3 FBI report on you. Ooh, silly twat. And refuse to scumbag to your mental games. You are a psycho, a troublemaker, and a liar. Really, Cleo's a scumbag who plays mental games is a psycho? A liar and a troublemaker. Well, that's rich. You are a psycho for stalking my family and doxing them when I did nothing of the sort to you. You are a troublemaker because you falsely tried to strike my videos down and successfully striked many creators' videos down. You are a liar because you came on Facebook and claimed that I was a part of a neo-Nazi organization who plays with kids on Twitch. You are a scumbag who plays mental games by coming on the internet and plastering yourself as a victim as if you've done nothing to any of us. So have some of that, you tw I also filed a report on you. Price, I filed a report in Wales. He is a public company, along with his family owning a huge store. 
Leave me alone. Wow, you continue to surprise me with your IQ. I'm very surprised that you still sit here thinking you have all the answers. And second of all, that huge store you're talking about that my family owns... Mm, no, I already said this already. My family doesn't own a store. N none of them do. I, I know this company you're talking about, but it's not a part of my family. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm eager to read this statement that Lily Jean released about me. I am sorry if there's not that many jokes in this video, but I've added up to here with these people. It's not because what they're doing to me, it's because what they're doing to other people. Uh, you know, I have no fear in them whatsoever. I am not afraid of them. They do not keep me up at night thinking, worrying what she's going to do next. In fact, if anything, I'm always excited to see what she's going to do next so I can once again f*** her on the internet. Nova, what do you think of Lily Jean? What, you don't like her? <laughs> See? Not even Nova likes I just find it amazing that the amount of evidence we all bring to these videos that you are indeed the suspect, you are the person stalking people, you are the person that's harassing people, and you're also the person who's falsely copyright striking people's videos down. With all the evidence we bring, you still sit there on the internet and claim that you're a victim? Are you just an absolute f***? An idiot or something? With that said, anyway, let's read the statement. I'm sure this is going to be fantastic and full of truths. So let's check it out. Project Bullyish was created to illustrate the cyber stalking, cyber harassment, and cyber bullying that I endured over the last eight years of my life. My movie stands as an anthem to what has happened to me and is still going on till this day. My movie has been stolen from my website, which is intellectual property theft. <laughs> Not fair usage, and yet the people involved think they can do as they please to me and my family without consequences. All right, guys, this is Curtis Price editing. Ooh, what a special surprise. I'd firstly like to ask Lily Jean, um, what exactly have I done to your family? <laughs> Not once have I threatened your family, doxed your family, filed a police report against your family, done anything of the sort. So I'd love to know what in the fuck you're talking about. And you use it as if it's a blanket statement, as if many people has involved your family. What did Cleo do to your family? Mm, last I checked, nothing. What did Preeming do to your family? Nothing. So uh, what are you talking about exactly? Because you have to explain better. No one's done anything to your family. And also, I haven't used any footage from your shitty project in my video. And you say without consequences. You've doxed all of us. What are you talking about, no consequences? Most of the people involved profit greatly off my name by creating fictional stories that all mimic each other's content. By creating fictional stories? Yeah, very interesting. Here's all the emails I received of you trying to copyright strike me. Here's when you dox my family. Here's when you dox Cleo. Here's the false police report you filed against me. And here's when you dox my family again. Whoa! Bloody fictional stories! Over the last four years, one YouTuber who owns the channel Curtis Price has put over 11 videos out on me in an attempt to discredit my person, fan the gossip so he can make even more content for his channel and create chaos in my life. I have filed several police reports on him, including a report with his local township in Wales. I also have reports with district attorneys in my county, as well as two detectives from the NYPD who have been working on my cases. Additionally, I have filed two IC3 reports online with the FBI to document what has been occurring. The crowd that is attracted to Curtis Price's content are vile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next joke, please. Are violent and have, on all 11 videos, sent me the most frightening messages I have ever received. Making me feel extremely unsafe and uncomfortable. These are highly influenced people and Curtis Price's cover photos of me for his videos where I have bruises on my face encourages them to want to be violent towards me. Since they feel if their favourite YouTuber wants to hurt me, they should too. I have a right to not feel frightened for my own safety because someone put my life in the line of danger. I have a right to live peacefully, something people like Curtis Price refuse to allow me to do. I am a victim. <laughs> I am a victim and I will never remain silent ever again. Oh, you know, I really wish you'd remain silent for once. I wish you took a f day off once in a while. Oh, now where to begin with this stupid, idiotic statement? First things first, she's talking about how I won't allow her to live peacefully. Let me address this to you, Lily Gina mother, as if it's were that you had mental issues. I haven't spoken about you two in two months. I left you alone. I let you live in peace, as you say. But then, suddenly to my surprise, you came on the internet, released a document about me, doxed my family on Twitter, and somehow I'm the one that's still not leaving you alone. I'll never be in cyberbullied. I'm a victim. I'm gonna dox your family just to show you what I'm made of. Dox, dox, dox. Whoa, that's, that's, that's kind of uncalled for. I never did that to you. But I'm gonna hold you accountable for that now. And now I'm gonna leave you alone. Yeah, well, you're still not leaving me alone. Let me release a statement on you. 
Oh, Kira's prize won't leave me alone! Literally how this situation feels at this point, this is exactly how it feels. Second of all, Lily Jean, please provide some evidence showing that my audience is violent people. Please provide evidence that these frightening messages that you received came from my comment section. Because I know my audience very well, I read all my comments. Not one comment about you has ever threatened you threatened your life in any way, or even has remotely been violent towards you. Third of all, she claimed that the pictures I use of her in my thumbnails, that I apparently encourage violence towards her by adding bruises to her face. Now, as I already mentioned, I already covered this in the last video, unfortunately, but she seems to not hear a thing I say, because she's that much of an idiot. Now, the bruises she's talking about is apparently this thumbnail right here, where her cheeks and up here is really red. Uh, that's just the colour correction. I didn't didn't manually add those because I'm not sure why adding bruises to your face would make any sense to the video whatsoever. So it's safe to say I don't think you've got a leg to stand on, Lily. And it's quite pitiful at this point. I do feel sorry for you. I really do. It's just a pitiful attempt at trying to silence people. And if you want my advice, as I've already told you once before, stop coming after creators. Because if you stop coming after us, we will stop coming after you. And I am proof of that because I haven't mentioned your name in two months and here you are again talking about me. So what does does that tell you exactly? You're just facing the repercussions here, that's all you're doing. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry that this wasn't a very comedic video. Not to worry though, we'll be back to business as usual in the next video. But check out my other videos, guys. I'm sure you'll enjoy these ones. These are a better representation of what the Curtis Price Channel is about. Thank you very much. See you all in the next one.